Similanos here, unquiens as well the key Caesia. The song is welcoming. A deeply significant event is unfolding, an unveiling of a new landmark in White Rock. With the raising of two totem poles, today marks a new beginning between the RCMP and the First Nations peoples of Canada. <laughs> Under Haida belief as a final farewell, the carvers breathed life into the poles before they stood up. In keeping with the oral traditions of the culture, the calling of the witnesses is an important tradition. While every one of the hundreds who attended the ceremony are witnesses, these particular individuals are charged with the responsibility of remembering what they hear and see at this historic event. Many see this day as a positive step towards a new beginning. Just as he has lent life to these poles in our belief, he has lent life into each of us as individuals. And we each have a personal responsibility to cherish that life, to cherish that spirit. The powerful imagery of the poles was chosen here by the RCMP to commemorate their 121st anniversary, a history not always celebrated by the peoples of the First Nations. And over our, the course of our history, we have been responsible for enforcing many, many laws that by today's standards perhaps were legally justified, but certainly morally wrong. And some of the laws in which we have had occasion to become involved and enforce certainly affected the Aboriginal First Nations people of this country the residential school system. We were an arm of the Canadian government that was responsible for the apprehension of children. We assisted in the suppression of ceremonies, the destruction of regalia, the seizing of regalia. And I think it's incumbent upon us if we talk about healing and moving forward that there has to be a starting point. And we can stand up and say, it's regrettable and let's reconcile, but the bottom line and the basic concept of healing is an apology. So I am here as a representative of the RCMP today to apologize to the First Nations people that are here. Twenty-five years is not long in the memory of our people, but nonetheless those words that you gave today are going to touch many hearts here today for our First Nations people here and across the land, CM. Thank you, John Grant, for your beautiful words. You brought tears to my eyes and I could feel the healing process starting. Thank you. And Grandfather, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this memorable occasion. And just as the spirits of these poles came to you through the air, with all due respect to the carvers, You've lent the carvers their particular gifts, but the spirit was there before. 
and it will be here after, long after. We'll see you.